This is using Liquify to enhance features in Adobe Photoshop. So Liquify is one of the ways that people change their body shapes and their facial features. Many people get in trouble for this online. If you just do a search for Photoshop fails, uh, Liquify was used here. You can see he's added muscles to himself, but they are not back here on this hand. Kim Kardashian's gotten in trouble for this. In fact, lately she got in trouble for this. Um, using Liquify, she made her waist thinner, but she distorted her finger. Um, here's another Kardashian. You can see that they lifted their butt right here, and it warped the background. Beyonce's gotten in trouble for it before. You can see that this line does not go straight across. So what were they using to do that? Um, it is called Liquify. So in Photoshop, I am in the photography workspace. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this woman. By the way, I got all of these off of the internet um, for Creative Commons license. This is just a woman. She looks fine the way she is, but let's say we want to make her look like a Kardashian. I'm going to go into Filter, Liquify, and it's going to bring up a new menu. Now you can see that we have a little circle on the screen. That is our paintbrush, and of course you can make that bigger and smaller using your bracket keys on your keyboard. The main tools that are you want to use in here are going to be this first one, which is a forward warp tool, and then pucker and bloat. So bloat is obviously going to make things bigger, and pucker is going to make things smaller. So uh, what Kim Kardashian just got in trouble for was probably using the forward warp tool. I'm going to grab that, and you don't want a really small uh, brush. If you do, it's going to be very obvious that you're pushing on things. So I'm going to undo that, control Z. So you want a pretty big brush, and then I'm just going to push her in. Now, this is working well on this because I do not have a background. But in some of those, you notice that you could see them changing things that were in the background. That is because they had too much going on in the background or they weren't paying attention to the background. So this can be really good to get rid of some kind of beefy arms. So, oop, undo. Just kind of push things up. If you have a double chin, this can work. Now there is a little preview button down here. I'm gonna turn it on and off. So you can see before, before after. Now another thing I might do with this one is um, say, just to show you what it is, the pucker tool, say let's go to her nose. I'm going to zoom in, alt scroll, and I'm just going to use the pucker tool a little bit on her nose. Let me turn preview back on. Do you see how it puckered in her nose? So that is what pucker does. So if we wanted to make her have smaller breasts, we could pucker those in. Um, I doubt anybody would want that. Let's try and make her thighs a little bit smaller so that kind of enhances her behind. So I'm just clicking a few times using the pucker tool. And here we have after, before, after. So most women would probably want bigger boobs, which of course would be the bloat tool. Make sure you have a big enough brush. And this, of course, is how um, guys add muscles. So let's click. If you just kind of go and start adding, you'll if you once you know how to do this, you'll see, oh yeah, I've seen people doing that. So this is how they add muscles. I don't know why you'd want to do that to this pretty woman, but there you go. Before, after. So that is the basic liquify tool. Let's go a little bit farther with a picture of the beautiful Jennifer Aniston. I'm going to make a copy of this by dragging it down to the new layer. And I'm going to go into Filter, Liquify. And what we're going to use this time is down here called face, Facial Aware Liquify. And if you open this up right here, you're going to see that it has seen all of her um, face. It's kind of mapped it out. If you have more than one person in your photo, it'll say face one, face two, however many people. So one of the things you want to do is make sure when you're dealing with eyes and things that you do have them locked together so both eyes will get bigger or smaller. And look at her eyes when I do this. You can see they are getting bigger. And actually, if I bring it all the way up, you will see she actually has two different size eyes. So the one on the right is a little bit too big. So I'm going to unlink the, them and bring down the size on that one. There we go. So if we click on before, after, we've just made her eyes just a little bit bigger. We have eye height, which is going to change the size of 
I'm going to change the size of the pupils. Eye width, once again, make sure you have them locked together. So just make that eye bigger. Tilt, if you want more olive or Asian features, that is the tilt. And of course, eye distance, she does actually have eyes that are pretty close together. So if you want, you could make, let's make her look more cross-eyed or farther apart. Now, nose, you can only move it up or down. And you can change the width of the overall nose. Now, the problem with her is she's a beautiful woman, but she has had a nose job. So you probably would not want to do that. Uh, we would, If you wanted to change anything on her nose, you might just want the bridge to be a little bit smaller than the nostrils. And that you would have to do manually, say, with the tool we just learned here, the um, warp tool. Let me see if I can do it. This is also good if somebody's broken their nose and their bridge is just a little bit off. Eh. Not bad. Like I said, she doesn't need any of this. Let's look at before and after. That's an after, before. Okay. And let's give her just a little bit more of an upper lip because she's kind of got thin lips. There we go. And now smile. Never push the smile and frown all the way. So that's just too much. And frown, it doesn't look real. So I, you can push smile to say 30% or so before it starts looking fake. Let's look at it before and after. There you go. And of course, forehead, she does have a kind of lower forehead. So let's give her a little bit more forehead. And she has a very strong jawline. So we might want to thin that in a little bit. These are great, just you have to play with them. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And now we have an after, there she is before, there she is after. And of course, she doesn't look like Jennifer Aniston anymore. And that brings us to caricatures. If you want to create a caricature or something like this, this is the perfect thing to use. Now for this one, I did cut out his hand and do it separately. I'll kind of show you. So I used the quick selection tool and I selected his hand, control C, control V. So now I have that on a completely separate layer. This way I can just change that. I'll go ahead and do it. Filter, liquify. And let's use the bloat tool. And really make that a big, huge hand. Let's make that. And then I'm going to draw that out with our forward warp tool. All right. Now when we add it back in, you can see we actually still see the old hand behind it. So I would use some of the other tools we know, like the clone stamp tool, maybe to get rid of what's behind it. Let's see, that might be enough. Yeah, we've kind of gotten rid of the one that was behind it. I'd probably come back and fix all of this. As far as um, really turning him into a caricature, uh, make sure you're on the right layer. I'm going to go back into Liquify. A couple things that can be done is change their eyebrows, kind of give them a little bit more of a, yep. Now, with a caricature, I would take whatever features they have and really distort them. So let's, he's got some kind of cute little ears there. Let's really bloat those out. And I'm actually going to pick them up with the warp tool and pull them out from his head a little bit. There we go. I'd also make his neck smaller to be a caricature. I would make his chin a lot smaller. I'd make his head on the top much bigger. Let's get a really big head. There we go. Okay, he's looking like a mouse. And of course we could go back into facial aware liquify that we just learned, but that one is more for making things look normal. We're kind of trying to make him look abnormal. Let's see if we can get these teeth bigger. I'm using the bloat tool. There we go. Okay, not too bad. Let's go back to the original. There we go. Okay, so that's how to make a caricature uh, using Liquify. You just have to kind of play around with them. It's a lot of fun. So go ahead and try something.